Welcome to part two of our lessons on isotopes, calculating average atomic mass. How do we calculate average atomic mass? Now we're going to get some math involved. Don't be frightened. It's really basic stuff. Multiplication and division and a few percentages. And I'm going to hold your hand through the entire thing. So your average atomic mass is the weighted average of all your isotopes. This is the value that's shown on the periodic table. When we use it in chemistry, we generally round to two decimal places before making use of our average atomic mass in calculations. When we want to calculate the average atomic mass, we're going to take our mass of each isotope, multiply it by its percent abundance after we have converted that percent abundance into a decimal. And we'll add that together for each existing isotope. That will give us our weighted average of our masses of our different isotopes because they're all existing in different percentages. For example, let's calculate the average atomic mass of oxygen if its abundance in nature is 99.76% oxygen-16, 0.04% oxygen-17, and 0.20% oxygen-18. This looks very complex, but I promise you it's not. So I would set this up the following way. I would have my mass of 16, this is my mass number for that isotope, set it up multiplying it by its percent abundance. Here's my next isotope, my isotope of oxygen 17, multiplied by its percent abundance, and my isotope of oxygen 18, multiplied by its given percent abundance. I will convert those percent abundances into decimals because whenever we work with a percentage, remember it's a part of 100, and essentially we're taking that percentage and dividing it by 100 by moving our decimal two spots to the left. I've already done that here for each of our percentage values, and you can see how they correlate with the original percentages. So I would be taking 16 times 0 0.9976. I would add that result to 17 times 0 0.0004 and I would add those two results to 18 times 0 0.0020 to arrive at my average atomic mass. And if I do that correctly, I'll get a value of 16.00 AMU. So which of my isotopes is most abundant? Even if I didn't know that oxygen is 99.76% oxygen 16. Seeing that I had 16 as my AMU would help me arrive at that answer. So our rules for calculating average atomic mass. We're going to identify our known and our unknown values. We're going to convert our percentages to decimals by moving our decimal places two spots to the left. We're going to multiply the mass of each isotope by its decimal abundance and then we will add these masses of the isotopes together to arrive at our weighted final average. Let's try example 12. We need to find the average atomic mass of the following isotopes given the following information. And we're going to show all our work. This is a really good thing to do at all times. Always show your work. It allows us to backtrack and see if we have any issues with the problems we're working out. So here, 75% of our isotopes have a mass of 35.0 AMU, and 25% of our isotopes have a mass of 37 AMU. So let's work this problem out. So I have 75% of the isotope has a mass of 35 AMU. 25% of the isotope has a mass of 37 AMU. So I have one mass of 35, and that is making up 75% of my sample. So that 75% is going to become 0 0.75 because I'm moving my decimal two spaces to the left to turn that percentage 
into its corresponding decimal value. My second isotope it has a mass of 37 AMU and its percentage is 25%. So I'll be taking that, converting it into its relative decimal abundance, which would be 0.25%. As I do each of these operations, 35 times 0.75 will give me 26.25. Wow, that was messy. Sorry about that. And my second one would be 9.25. When I add those two together, I should get 35.5 hello five, A-M-U, and that would be my answer. Make sure that you always include your units. In our example 13, I would like for you to try this one. We're going to calculate the average atomic mass of element X. We have X isotope with a mass of 10 and X 11. Those would be the mass numbers. But we have the actual masses here, which is 10.01 and 11.01. The relative abundance of the 10.01 is 19.91. The relative abundance of the 11.01 is 80.09. So when I go to work this one out, I'm going to do it here at the bottom of the page for you. I would have my first isotope, which has a mass of 10.01, and I'm going to multiply it by the decimal abundance of that isotope. So we take our percentage of 19.91, turn it into a decimal by moving our decimal place two spots to the left. Our second isotope is 11.01. Its percentage is 80.09. That would become 0.8009. Once again, ooh, that got weird. And now we can do our math. So my first operation of 10.01 times 0.1991 gives me 1.993. My second operation of 11.01 .01 times 0.8009 gives me 8.818. And my final answer would be 10.81 AMU would be my final atomic average atomic mass, which is the weighted average, because we are multiplying by those percentages. Um, notice I have four sig figs in my masses. I have four sig figs in my relative abundances. I also have four sig figs in my final answer. Let's try example 14. I'm going to give you a little bit of time to try it out, and then I will work it out with you. So in this example, we have three isotopes that we're working through. We have a mass of 15.995 that makes up 99.762% of our abundance, 16.999 that makes up 0.038% of our abundance, and 17.999 that makes up 0.20% of our abundance. The first thing I want to point out, you'll notice there is no percentage sign here. It is labeled in the passage as being a percent abundance. Don't let that throw you off. It has not already been converted into a decimal. So in this case, we would have 15.995 times 0.99762. Our second operation would be 16.999 times 0.000 three, eight. Yeah, that one always throws people. Remember, we're moving our decimal two places to the left. It doesn't matter that the value we've been given as the percentage is already a decimal. We have to do this every time. Our last set is 17.999. And we will be multiplying that value times 0 0.0020. Alrighty, so there's your setup. Make sure that this is what you had and we're going to go ahead and do our math. Our first operation would give us 
seven. Now notice I'm giving both of these to um, five sig figs at this point because we have five sig figs in each of these. Um, now this next one, I've only got two sig figs, so I'm going to be reporting a little bit differently. So we have 16.999 times 0 0.00038, and that is going to give us 0 0.00645962, which would become 0 0.65, two sig figs. And here we have 17.999 times 0 0.0020, and that would give us 0 0.0359, um, which would become 0.36, because here we can go to two sig figs, because that is the lowest number of sig figs in our operation. Now we're going to report our final answer down to um, three decimal places, because that is our lowest number of decimal places. And if we take these three operations, and we add them together, we will get 15.9995, which if we go to the correct number of sig figs, which would be three decimal places, would be 15.999, but technically that all rounds up, and we're, we're left with 16.00. Zero. Alrighty, so that has been our work with significant figures as a part of working with, um, so that has been our work with um, average atomic mass and calculating with different isotopes.